Hello, this is Crypto CJ. It's the trade of the day, Thursday night slash Friday morning Zoom edition, depending on where in the world you are. And I've been traipsing the world in Southeast Asia for the last four months. I'm back home, Arizona, USA. Feels good. I'm suffering a little jet lag, so please be kind if I catch myself in a nod or yawn. So uh, anyway, it's been difficult uh, adjusting to life back in this time zone. Um, but hey, a great day today. Bitcoin's been pumping for the last several days since the election. And we broke from 99K briefly today. And it looks like Bitcoin's heading to 100K. That could happen tonight, um, tomorrow, this weekend, who knows. So very exciting stuff that Bitcoin could break 100,000 very soon. And... All coins are doing well. Ethereum's doing well. Uh, Solana's doing well. Uh, some of the older projects, um, Maker and some of those are doing well. So it's just a really good time to be a, a day trader and a hodler. I day traded XLM today and HBAR. A couple older projects did well on both. So it's just a, it's a good time to be a trader and a hodler and a swing trader. So Let's go to Twitter. Look at some of the headlines. That's always fun. Okay. Here we are on Twitter. I'm just going to scroll through some stuff. Uh, Kyle Chassis is reporting Michael Saylor is a Bitcoin buying machine. He's, he's with the MicroStrategy, and that's the company that made famous of having Bitcoin on your balance sheet and looks like they're buying three billion more Bitcoin to add to their balance. So that's pretty cool. He loves buying Bitcoin from lettuce hands, paper hands, whatever you call it. Just the, the people who can't stand to be patient and hold it. They just gotta give it away or sell it and get rid of it. So uh, Solana had a really nice move, like I said earlier, up to 257 today. And getting close to its all-time high. So that's pretty exciting. And I actually sold some or all of my Solana for right around 240 250 um, yesterday or this morning. So, and then scroll down further into my uh, notifications here on Twitter. And... Insane opportunity. Oh, here we go. Mr. Gensler will be leaving us, the SEC chairman, who's been so difficult the last few years. He's resigning on January 20th. Uh, I believe that's the inauguration date. And here's a good riddance or goodbye letter to Mr. Gensler. May he find uh, less intrusive work, not bothering the good citizens of altcoin alert. And I could scroll for further and find some more headlines, but I think that's enough. Uh, Gensler gone, MicroStrategy buying more Bitcoin, uh, Solana near an all-time high. Most of the news is good. It's good. It's a good time. Bitcoin at the moment is at just below 99K. 98 and change. And you can check out the headlines here too if you want. Currently it's above the 20, 50, and 200 EMAs on the one hour chart. You could look at the day chart real quick. And we've broken the structure that I'd drawn earlier in the year and obviously I haven't updated yet. But we're in uncharted waters, all-time high areas. And on Ethereum, around 3,300. So we're holding 2,500 of support very well. Maybe even moving that up to 3,000, which I would like to see. 3,000 for Ethereum support sounds good to me. So good stuff and good news all around. Anyone have anything to add or comment about?
All right, so what do we do with all this good news? Let's trade it. Let's uh I'm just doing longs. No no shorts on my uh on, on my alerts and using all altcoin alert to find the best trades. So let's go ahead and start there. Altcoin alert. Easy mode is off. I have altcoin radar on. Gonna read it. Refresh, get the most current information. And we'll start with a sort using the AA score. Okay, so we've got a few uh, meme coins. Bonk is up here at 80. I've been trading HBAR today. It's an older project, but moving pretty well. And is has a score in the 80s this morning. Now it looks like it's dipped to 78.6. And I haven't happened to have that chart up. So 15 minute chart. This is what I use for day trading. Supply and demand visible range for support and resistance. And the RTI relative trend index for alerts. And cumulative delta I use for confirmation on, on certain types of trades. So I was going for breaking breaks about the 50 today, and those are doing really well. We got this big break here. And let me grab my vertical line. Yeah, so we had this break here. Actually, yesterday at 5.15 p.m. And we got a break to the red zone. You know, 4% and change. That's a really good day trade. And then today I was doing these kind of trades, like this one here broke above the 50 briefly. And they did over here as well in the morning or late, late last night. Yeah, so I caught this one. Went against me a little bit, then bounced back up here. Picked up 1.3% at 10x leverage, 13% on the chart. And um if you're if you're trading spot, you may want some bigger moves. If you're on leverage, I'd say stick for the one percent trades and stay at five x or ten x. All right, so how do we set an alert on this? Right click on the RTI, add an alert. You can just select cross over the fifty or crossing up on the 50, either one will work. Once per bar close, this AA score, notifications, notify an app on the phone, toast notification will be a little little blurb that shows up on the, on the screen on my laptop, play a sound also on my laptop, we'll go three notes reverb, there's a few to choose from. Click create, you're good to go, but I have this one going already, so I won't create it. Any questions on HBAR as a day trade? Well, let's look at this as a swing. Maybe you want to stay in a little bit longer and make a bigger move. The buy triggered this afternoon. Well, actually not that long ago. And then let's see where we are on that. So to the red zone has about 17%. That'd be a really good swing trade. Might take a few days, a few weeks. Uh, we don't have confirmation though. Um, we use a Trendio LSMA, you know, this moving average to, to confirm. So the buy signal went off. It was confirming at the time, but it's not confirming now. So if you want to set an alert on this, on the super trend, Right click on it, add an alert, and trade both directions. You can leave this as is. If you want that long move, select buy. Um, you usually only do, only do these once, so I'll leave that one alone. Alert name, it's AA score. Notifications, notify an app. Toast notification, play a sound. And for this, I would go with probably handbells, a swing trade. 
click create, you're good to go on your swing trade alert. Okay. Um, any questions on H bar? All right, let's go to altcoin alert, see what else we can find. So that was H bar. Scroll down a little bit, we're in the low 70s, so XRP, maybe. Yeah. There's this other sorts we can do as well, the other columns. So let's sort by social activity. I've been using that one lately. Want to get a fire or a thumbs up match the trading activity. Those match up. That's worthy of additional an additional look, a deeper look. Got optimism of fire on both. New mare, no. Sushi with fire and thumb up. Floki's on Coinbase now. Oh, Floki. Let's look at Floki. What the heck? And I'm seeing it though. Hmm. Well, we've got it up. Look at it on, um, on Kraken. All right, Floki. So at the moment, it has dipped below the 20 on the RTI. So that's usually due for recovery and a break back up. So this one could be good to trade fairly quickly. Add an alert. Cross up. And select 20. Once per bar close, maybe. This was social activity sort. And you're good to go. All right. So that's, uh, that's Floki as a day trade, as a swing. We did have a buy signal print kind of in the no man's land here between the support and resistance. Don't like that. But we don't have confirmation by the Trendio, which is trending down at the moment. If this trends back up, then you could take this trade maybe right about here, go to the red zone and right at 10%. That'd be a pretty good swing trade. You know, it might take you a, few, a day or two. Okay. So, any questions or comments on Floki? All right, let's go back to all the coin alert. And we did social activity sort. Let's do short term sentiment. Match that up with. Elder Impulse Hourly, this one over here, and see what we can find. We got our weave bullish on both. Keep that in mind. Um, Mina, don't know that one. EOS, that's an older project, up 7% today. Seller, also an older project. Hot, also older.
All right, so let's look at our weave. Get back over to my day trading. Okay, we just broke, broke above the 80 on this. Um, going back, breaks above the 50. It eventually worked out. Yeah, like we had this break above the 50 here. But it went down you know, 9% before it came back up. So a couple additional purchases would have made this one profitable. That's pretty good. Okay, so what alerts do we want on this? I think I want the 50. Yeah. Yeah, these two are eventually profitable. And this one was profitable as well. So right click on the RTI, crossing over is already selected. So you go with once per bar close and short term sentiment, I believe. And pick out the notifications you like. Click Create, and you're good to go. All right, so that's my day trading alert on our weave. Let's look at this as a swing. So this is a good setup now. I like this a lot. We're coming out of the green zone. The buy signal printed early this morning. And then the Trendio LSMA is giving us confirmation. So if we got in this now, it wrote it to the red zone, just under 9%. Behold to the top of the red zone where this resistance is. Um, back from uh, not that long ago. It's 2.35%, uh, so not bad. I usually like bigger moves in my swing trades, though. So you could set an alert and catch the next buy. Yeah, click on one of these. You, you know the rest. Or you could take this now, not financial advice, but it's a pretty good setup. And it's set up for a you know eight to nine percent move in just a couple days. So I might bend my rule on ten percent on swing trades for for sure. You know, and I, a result like that in a short period of time. Okay, um, right click on super trend, select buy. And well, you know what to do with your alerts at this point. Any questions on our weave? Okay. Let's look at long term sentiment. And I use this sort for both day trading and swing, but it works a little better for swing trading because I'm matching a long term long term sentiment up with um, elder impulse daily like we have here on sushi. Very bullish on sentiment and bullish on impulse. So we got our sentiment and our technical indicators agreeing with each other. FTX token. Trying to look for coins I know. I can trade either direction. Mana? Hmm. Adam, yeah. LTO, Ren. Not loving any loving any of these. 
vet, etc, dgb, audio, I like audio. Well, it's bullish on both. Let's check it out. Good old audio. And we'll head back over to the day trading layout. So we're dipping below the 50 on the RTI. And breaks above the 50 have done well. At least the most recent one did here. So we've caught this coin or candle here and to the red zone, you know, almost 3%. That's a good day trade. I like it. So yeah, let's set this alert. Right click on RTI, add an alert. Cross over the 50 once per bar close. It's long term sentiment. And um, yeah, we'll leave those as they are. Click create. And my alert is ready on audio. Okay, let's go over to our swing trade. And we're right around the middle zone here on the one hour chart. We do have a buy signal that has printed. Candle action is trending down, but Trendio LSMA is trending up. A little disagreement there. Um, let's see what our potential profit is to the red zone. 10%. And... Uh, hard as hell. I think that's um, about three days. 8% in three days. That's not bad. Not as much as I would like, but it's a shorter time frame. So, <clears throat> All right. So on this one, right-click on Super Trend. Choose a buy. Yeah, you're off. Any questions on audio as a day trade or a swing trade? <clears throat> you guys have been pretty quiet. So, uh, you know, I've gone through five scenarios here in about 25 minutes. I'm inclined to wrap it up here because, <clears throat> as you probably noticed, I'm, I'm, I'm fading a bit. The, the jet lag from Asia is... Uh, I've I've not recovered from it yet, so hopefully next week. Um. So any uh anybody have anything to comment about Altcoin Alert or um. Let's see, Robin's asking day trade. You set a sell when you buy. Yes, I, I if I understand what you mean, I think I think you mean take profit. So yes, I look at. Um, you know, prior movements in the coins. That's why I often point those out, you know, where those coins have been. That's why I like coins that dip and start to recover because I've already got a, I've got a built-in take profit already. And once it recovers and gets back to where it was, you know, I can profit off that as a day trade. Okay. Um, all right, so that seems to be sufficient sufficient for Robin. Any other questions or comments before we head out? All right, well, I'll let you go here. You guys have a good rest of your week and weekend. Uh, if you're watching on the recording, please check out the opportunities in the pinned comment. They help fund the channel, and we will see you guys on Monday. Bye.